Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to use the new Lua script component in the microcontrollers to go and build a bar graph on screen. We'll go over everything you need, we'll show you also how to actually build the microcontroller itself, we'll get it all wired up and then finally we'll actually test it out in the world of Stormworks. If you're enjoying these videos, comment below and anything else you'd like to see in my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we're going to click the little bell icon to be notified of any of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the tutorial. So to get started, we're back here in the workbench. Now you can see just in front of me, we have a little bit of a test bed that we're going to be using like we usually do for these tutorials. Now I've gone and put a small two by two screen along with that is going to be a simple lever on the screen. And that's what we're going to be doing or using as our input to go and test our graph that we're going to be building. Along with that, I also have a small battery and also an on signal. Obviously the battery is here to power our electric because we're in advanced mode along with that we also have the on signal now the on signal is here is just to turn the monitor on itself now the first thing we need to go and do is we need to build the microcontroller now we're going to the microcontroller editor i'm going to just be calling it bar screen why not we'll use that for the tutorial right now along with that we also have the width and the length i'm happy with it as it is right now we can go on to the logic now the logic that we're going to need for this is obviously a video out so the video going into the screen itself we will need some way of going and actually getting our number from whatever we're reading as i said for the purpose of this video we're using a lever so that's going to be a simple a number coming in and that's pretty much all we need right now we don't need anything else we can leave it as it is we can then move on to the symbol that i said for the symbol um guys you know me i just do simple things here i'm just going to do a simple thing like that to indicate that we're making bars on the screen itself okay something like that now going into the logic of this processor um Pretty easy what we do is we start off we separate obviously our in and we are out um, along with that we can go and grab our lure block now you can see we have the lure script right over here and what we want to do is obviously have our video going out into our monitor and we want to convert this number into a composite so to do that what we're going to be doing is we're going to go grab our right you can see here composite right number we perfect we can put that down connect the composite there and then connect our input coming now you can obviously extend this and make this as large as you want and as complex as you want to however for the purpose of this video we are just going to be doing one bar on the screen and we'll show you how to get it actually working now once we've decided on all that the next thing we need to do is obviously check our channel we're writing on we're writing on channel one i'm happy with that we can then come into our lua and actually start editing the script now what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be getting rid of a lot of this stuff that we don't really need on screen um, there is quite a bit of examples here as you guys know from our different tutorials that we've done before and we'll get all that so we're going to start with our on tick now the first thing is we have that number coming in so we need to read it so i'm just going to go and grab an example from the help place it here and we're going to say great well this is going to be input one perfect so if i could spell it right uh, input one is equal to get number one okay so that's going to be the composite signal coming in and it's going to mean it's input one perfect we don't need anything else right there the next thing we want to do is we have our height and our width of our screen just here so we know how high and how um long it is now we know already before we even start the tutorial that that screen is a 64 by 64 screen look it starts at zero on the left and starts at zero at the top and goes down to 64 and goes to the right at 64. the next thing we want to do is we actually want to build the outline of our bar graph to do that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing the example here and we're going to be drawing a rectangle not the filled one just a regular rectangle so we can come down place that over here before we do that, we also probably want to decide what color this rectangle is going to be. So once again, you can come and grab the set color just from the example here. Now I've decided that I want that to be white. Okay, so we're going to come here. We can do 255 by 255 by 255. Okay, so a nice bright outline of our actual graph itself. Now, what position do we want it? Well, I'm going to go with about three by three hopefully that will be just off the top left hand corner along with that is we have to sign our width so what's the width we're going to be i'm going to go with a width of 10 and the height uh let's go with the height of about 50 that should stretch down the screen quite nicely 
Now, you don't need anything else just yet. We want to go and test it out and see what the actual graph itself looks like on screen. So I'm going to go and save that. I'm just going to call it test uh, bar. Perfect. We can now come back here and try to find it in our editor. Now you can see I've got it selected. What we're going to do is place it down. The next thing is we want to actually test out to see if we can see the actual outline of the bar graph on the screen. So we're just going to connect the video. Once we've done that, we can spawn in and you can see here we have the outline. The next thing we want to do is we want to draw a somewhat of a filled rectangle in the center and make it go up and down depending on this lever right over here. So now to do that, what we're going to do is go back into our workbench, go back into our micro editor or microcontroller right over here, go back into the Lua script. And the next thing you want to do is you want to say, well, okay, what color do you want to actually draw it? I'm going to draw it red. So we're going to leave it at 255 and we're going to change the G value and the B value to zero. Once we've done that, we then want to draw another rectangle. However, this time we want to draw a rectangle filled. Okay, so we got our rectangle filled just over here. We can come back into here and we can say, well, what is the X position and the Y position? Well, the X position is going to be four because that is where it's going to be one on the right of where it's drawing the outline because we don't want to draw over, to, over the outline. Along with that is where do we want to go and start drawing our actual filled rectangle from? For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be drawing it from the bottom up because that's how our graph is going to be moving up and down. Okay, so to do that, you can see here, currently we starting the outline at three and we're having a height of 50. So what we can do is we can take three plus 50 and get to 53 and that should be the bottom of our actual rectangle. Now we can test this out later on and we can adjust it accordingly. Obviously your maths might not be right, mine also might not be right, but we'll see along with that in a couple minutes. Along with that, what is the width of the bar going to be? Now the width of the bar earlier was 10. So once again, we can come to a logical conclusion. We don't override that, so we'll go with nine. And what is the height going to be? Now the height is, I'm gonna go with a minus 49 because I want to see what it looks like before we actually enter in our number input. So we can go and spawn that in and see what it looks like on screen and see if we need to make any adjustments to where it's sitting. No, we don't. You can see here it's perfectly gone and sit in line of that outline. Okay. So once we've done that, we can come back in and now we need to actually start converting this lever into some way to make that bar move up and down as we want. Now, it's pretty easy once again to do that. All we need to do is replace this with our input one. So we just go and take our input one, place that down there. This means depending on the zero and one that we get in, it's either going to move it up or down on its height. Okay. However, the problem is that lever is only sending us in a zero to one. Okay. And we said already that our height is going to be 49. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this input and we're going to times it by 49. Okay. Now, if we go back here into our micro editor, we can come and grab a function block. So you can see, let's scroll up, let's grab a function block just over here. And if we connect our number here, that's where we're going to convert it. And we're going to bring a drop down into our processor here. So we're going to come in here and what we're going to say is X times by 49 because that's the size of the actual bar we're drawing inside okay once we have that placed down we can go and spawn it in place it down just over here make sure we have everything connected up like we should do electricity composite don't need that right now and also our lever going down to our input you can now spawn this in you should see the graph is currently at zero because we have a zero on the throttle and as you move the throttle up you can see that our bar is moving up and down. Now you can obviously play with this as much as you want, change the colors, do all kinds of fancy things, have a hundred in line if you really want to, or just have one, have huge ones, have small ones. It's really up to you, but it's that simple guys if you follow this tutorial. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.